Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy. And in this beginner's guide tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to update your Daisy Nitrado community server for console for so for PlayStation or Xbox to update 1.27, which is happening on the 25th of February 2025. Now I'm recording this video the day before, but as Nitrado have recently changed their web interface for their servers, I thought it might be worth um, looking at this again now at the end I will be talking about how you do this on PC as well but I want to concentrate on console to start off with so on the 25th at some point we'll learn from Daisy that um, the servers are being updated and official servers are getting a wipe but you don't need to do that on community servers so maybe from their Twitter their X um, or you may well get a notification from Nitardo saying official servers are going down uh, on PC and they're coming back up again and then community servers are going down and coming back up again for PC and console. Now when this happens what you'll want to do then is go over to Nitrado and go to the web interface of your server. Now sometimes here in the server status it will say game version and what you're looking for is the one that says it'll say 1.27 point blah 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 blah. At the moment it'll probably say 1.26 point blah 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 blah. If it still says 1.26 and also I'm going to show you what to do if it doesn't show 1.26, how to check, um, then you're not ready because the back end of your server, the daisyserver.exe, if you like, the program that actually runs the server that we don't have access to, that will be updated by Nitrado, not us. What we're going to be updating is the mission files because it's the mission files that don't get automatically updated as part as an update. And the reason for this is because you might have changed them. You might have custom mission files with boosted loot or less loot and colored weapons and cars with all this stuff on. So Nitrado leaves that alone. It's up to us to update these unless we do a fresh install. If you do a fresh install, everything starts, starts again. So let's imagine though, you come here um, and it says 1.27 or let's say you come here and it doesn't say anything how do you know if your server has been updated yet at all well what we want to do what you can do is if you go to the um, file browser in the tools over here and then you go into daisy missions and it's ps missions for playstation xb missions for xbox missions for pc and then go into daisy offline plus and we can have a look and then go into the db directory or the db folder and if you download the types.xml here so we're just going to download that and then what you want to do is you want to just open it up in your favorite text editor so let's uh open let's have a look at this and let's open this up in notepad plus plus and then we would do a search and you, and you want to search for the svd svd and find all of them all right, and then go to the SVD. Now, if your server had been updated, including the mission files, to 1.27, this would then say there would also be SVD, and there would be SVD wooden as well. The SVD wooden is another is a new gun that's going to be added to Sakal, I think. It's going to be in the bunker on Sakal. So if that's there, then you've got 1.27 file, 1.27 files. If it hasn't, it means your mission files haven't been updated. So that's the thing that we've got to update. Now, if we then go back to our server and we go back to the first thing, if it still doesn't say here that it's up to 1.27, go back and check their t Twitter and make sure the bit where Daisy have said uh, console servers have been updated to update to 1.7 that's in the past and it's a while ago you know it's a couple of hours ago because then chances are you'll have been updated or sometimes you'll get a message up here at the top of the screen that says words to that effect so what we need to do now is we need to update our mission files if this is the first time you do this i'm going to show you how to do this if you're familiar with this and you've done it before obviously what you should have done by now or start doing now is getting hold of the vanilla 1.27 files um, and then updating them with the changes that you want to make um, and what i'll do is i'll put a link in the description below this video to the daisy uh, official bohemian interactive daisy central economy where perhaps on the 25th or the 26th or the 27th they will have updated to 1.27 uh, and you'll know because when you when you go to uh daisy offline here we go 
daisy offline .chernus plus and you go to the db directory the uh, at least the types that xml will say last commit date yesterday or some or words to that effect or if you want to get hold of the files you can if you've got daisy on pc you can install the daisy experimental server and in the files are included the mission files for daisy update 1.27 however let's go back to console because this is what we were looking at so what we want to do is we want to go to settings general and all we do here is we just scroll down a bit and there is this very very important setting here reset mission xml to default so what this does is if we select this and then we save the changes and then we restart the server nitrado will then apply the latest 1.27 vanilla mission files so that's everything from the types to xml to the events to xml to the cfg gameplay.json all of that stuff it will apply that to your server now what's been happening in the past as well and this may well happen in this one it also deletes all the files in your custom folder as well so remember this is taking you back to vanilla daisy mission files so if you've got any custom ones that you want to keep download them and keep them on your local pc before you do this because once you do this this will overwrite all the existing ones and what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go in and you're going to have to edit the files if that's what you want to do you're going to have to go back into the cfg gameplay.json for example and refer to your custom builds in the custom folder you're probably going to have to re-upload your custom builds into the custom folder or even things like uh, your custom loadout spawns if you use those and you refer to them in your cfg gameplay.json you're gonna have to do all that again maybe you play around with the map settings or the stamina settings there's quite a few things we can change in cfg gameplay.json these will be reset to vanilla so it's important before you do this you kind of understand those consequences so once you do and you think yeah i'm good to go i'm ready to go i want to go 1.27 so you click that across there save changes restart go make yourself a cup of coffee a cup of tea have a can of coke come back and it will have it'll have restarted and then you untick it and then click save changes and then i would restart the server as well i'd, I'd restart it again so that's saved so then what you can do to check that this has worked go back to your file browser Go back to your missions folder. Go back to offline.chernus plus folder. Go back to the DB directory. And then go into the download the types again. Don't look at it on the web because it doesn't always work when it's on the web if, because it's a big file of types. And then we, ooh, uh, types two. Then you would open edit that with notepad plus plus or whatever do another control f and again search for the svd now my file hasn't been updated so there's nothing there however i do happen to have a copy of the 1.27 files so if, if i do a control f and search for svd we can see that's what you'd expect to be seeing svd would and now on chernerus these aren't spawning in so the nominal and the minimum will be zero same for Livonia, but when you if you're running a Sakal server, there's there's a few of them spawn in, and I think their category is underground or their usage is underground, so they'd be in that bunker that's on you know the the it, the Italy part of the map. So and that means once you see that and that's in place, you've got the latest 1.27 mission files, and you're good to go. And that's it really, the server's good to go. You've just got to do the customization that you would have done before, but the server's updated. You can tell other people on your Discord or your Facebook groups or maybe just your mates, right? That's it, we're good to go. We've got the latest files. With this particular update, there's not that much going on. We've got that new rough file and there's some other lots of bug changes. There's lots of things going on behind the scenes to set up Daisy for 2025 and the updates we're going to be getting. So that's it for console nice and easy now if you're doing this on pc <laughs> you don't have that setting which is a bit of a pain it's a shame they don't have it I, I, in fact i tell you i'm saying they don't have it let's go and have a look let's find a pc server uh a pc trainer let's, let's go and have a look i guess they may well have added it in i'm saying there we go now how we were talking about the version number there's the version number see how this server is v, v1.26 so on the 25th 
At some point this will change to 1.27, but it doesn't change the mission files. So let's go into settings, uh, general. I don't think that will be here. Let's have a look. expert mode, admin log. Da, da, da. Yeah, so you, you don't have that. You don't have that setting. Okay, so how do you do this on PC? Well, what you're going to do is you're going to go to tools and you're going to go to file browser. And if you're on PC, you're probably familiar with this anyway. But what we need is we need the latest files. So depending on when you're when you're going to be doing this, you're going to get them from different places. If you go to the official Bohemia Interactive GitHub, of which I'll put a link to in the description below this video, <laughs> and it has been updated, which sometimes they can take quite a few days to update. And again, the way that you would know is you would go into daisy offline.chernus plus and check the date says the types file has been changed in the last couple of days. If they've done that, you can then click on code, download the zip, extract that to your local computer, and that will then give you all of the mission files, which you can then either use an FTP program to re-upload, or you can upload them kind of, you know, a few at a time using the uh, using the upload section. And so you basically upload any files that have been updated. Safest thing is to is to upload all of the uh, all of the new ones. And then remember, if you've got any custom files, you then have to edit it. If, however, Beam Interactive haven't updated their official GitHub, you would go down the experimental server route. So you install the Daisy experimental server. You don't launch it, just install it. And then what you do is you find it on your PC. So it'll probably be somewhere like C program files x86 Steam. Steam apps common. Go into Daisy server experimental, MP missions, Daisy offline Turner's pass, and they're all here. So you would be uploading all the, the ones that have been updated. They're very helpful in the fact that they do have the dates when they've been changed. That's what Windows does. So you do know which ones have been changed. So for example, you don't need to change the... So the types has been updated, the globals and the events need, have been updated there. You don't need economy or messages. And then if you go to the ENV, we can see that none of the ENV territories files have been updated. So you don't need any of them. Um, and you can go down here, so affect area JSON, economy floor, area flags, looking for anything basically that's been changed in 2025. And you would upload, upload those to your server in the correct place over the top of the existing ones, restart your server, and you would be good to go. So there we go, update 1.27, how to update your console server, and a little bit at the end, how to update your PC server. Um, yeah, have fun. I think 2025 is going to be an amazing year for Daisy. Really looking forward to it. And of course, uh, I'll see you all again soon. Thanks. Bye.